stress in words and stress in sentences. Because a sentence can mean very different things if you, if you put the stress somewhere else. I will give you some basic sentences and then we'll do one sentence with different stress. And that can be very funny. That can be very funny. So, in American English you could say, I want a cookie. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. But I just prefer to say, I want a cookie. I want a cookie. Although you should probably not say want. You should probably say like, I would like to have a cookie, thank you. Proper, right? Proper. You could also say, he is a teacher. He is a teacher. He's a teacher. He's. He's a teacher. The stress, you feel that? He's a teacher. There I don't mind if you short it. Because nobody really says he is, they'll just say he's. But instead of one, saying want to, I think is still okay, still proper. If you want to cut it off, that's your choice, absolutely. He's a teacher, he's a teacher. Stress patterns, right? I need to eat. I need to eat. This is me at the end of a live stream. <laughs> I need cookie. I need to eat. <laughs> stress, 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 stress on every single word. I need to eat. <laughs> this also has to do with, you know, your tone, right? Your emotion. Adding emotion to a sentence can also change the feeling of the sentence. I need to eat. I, I, I need to eat. I need to eat. You feel the difference? Like, you don't want to eat. I need to eat. Excuses. Uh, I, I need to eat. Being hangry. I need to eat. Leave me alone. <laughs> Stress patterns. I'm just giving you some over, over examples. You know, a little bit too much. Another great example is, for example, uh, I'll see you at five. I'll see you at five. Right? I'll see you at five. Oh, cool. I'll see you at five. I'll see you at five. Like you don't want to go to her. I'll see you at five. I'll see you at uh, five. Same sentence, different meaning. Because of the stress. Because of the emo emotion. I'll see you at five. I'll see you at uh, five. Uh. Do you feel that? Do you feel that? Stress patterns. Emotions, intonations, they all change the feeling of a sentence. But I like it. I like it. For the rose, appreciate your support. Valeria, welcome back. How have you been doing? You also have stress patterns in your life, right? That's not the, the we are not talking about that kind of stress. Okay? What dress am I gonna wear? Are they actually gonna like me? Why am I still single? That's not the stress we're talking about. I'm not a psychologist, okay? I'm just an English teacher. Just an English teacher. <laughs> it's not the one we're talking about. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, nice and hot. Stress cause single, but then you're in a relationship and you stress because you think you're not good enough in a relationship and then it goes well and you stress because there's you're stressing about the future because but then everything is going great you're making money but then you stress because your parents tell you hey you're getting older it's time to get children and then you stress because you got children but you don't have a house yet and it's too expensive and then you stress <laughs> life this is basically a if i have to generalize the old chinese thing this is how the older chinese generation is because young people feel like okay if i just get a boyfriend and get married then my parents will leave me alone but then you have to get a kid they have to get a house they have to get a car they have to get another kid they have to get a better job <laughs> stress doesn't stop there's always something that could be better um so no stress, enjoy life, take a walk outside. Like after a bad night of sleep, for example, if, if, I, if I had a bad dream, I'll just go into the garden and just touch a leaf. Just, you know, ground as they call that, relax. It's just life, it's okay. Touch some grass, not only Chinese, no, but that's the example I saw. I know it happens everywhere. It's not the it's not the reality of life if you don't want it to be it's all it's your life it's all your choice right so let's uh let's do one more example for stress patterns and then we'll have some conversations okay i want to do three or four conversations so i have a beautiful sentence for you i have a beautiful sentence for you and I will say it without any stress first to show you that it, stress is really important. Intonation is really important. This is the sentence. I didn't say she stole my sandwich. No emotion, no stress. I didn't say she stole my sandwich. A normal English sentence. But then if I, if I emphasize one word specifically, it will change the whole sentence. Here's an example. I didn't say she stole my sandwich, which means that maybe somebody else stole the sandwich. She didn't. I didn't say she stole my sandwich, but you, where is my sandwich? I didn't say she stole my sandwich. Emphasis, you don't have to be that obvious but you can say I didn't say she stole my sandwich but you can also say you can also change it you can also say I didn't say she stole my sandwich I didn't say she stole my sandwich instead of focusing on she we focus on say which changes the meaning which means I didn't say that. I might have implied it somewhat, but I didn't say it. I didn't say she stole my sandwich. I just gave you a hint. I didn't say I didn't like you, but look at my face. Emphasis. And you can do this with every single word. That's the funny thing. Just find a sentence like this you can do it with every single word we just did it with she and with say in i didn't say she stole my sandwich 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 you're denying what's being said it wasn't me i didn't say I didn't say she stole my sandwich. I didn't say she stole my sandwich. Maybe I gave it to her. I didn't say she stole my sandwich. I didn't say she stole my sandwich. She took yours. 
I didn't say she stole my sandwich. That's your sandwich. <laughs> and of course, you can just the last word. I didn't say she stole my sandwich. I didn't say she stole my sandwich. She stole my heart. <laughs> yeah, shake, shake, rock, rock. It's like, bro, just buy a new sandwich, all right? Just buy a new sandwich. <laughs> I'm done with it. 